guys what's going on gaming officials here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can make a server leveling system using scoreboard commands um, now if you have a look as you can see this alt account of mine here is on uh, level one and if I press pause you can see that I am level one and yeah so level one there so what I can do is these are all the commands that make it work and every single one of these are is equal to one level and how it works so this is just a concept idea obviously you can have it so it works differently depending on what type of server you have so if I come over here you can see that I've got all these tickets for each and every level so if I just take one of each or a couple of them I'm actually going to take one of each real quick okay so I have you know level so on my or on this example uh, you can see that when you join uh, you are automatically on level one now you can start them on level zero but I'm going to stick it on level one for now so you can see that we got all our different levels here and what you do is you just drop a piece of paper this piece of paper and you can see it says gaming officials is leveled up and you'll see that now I am actually level two uh, same with the level three paper I do that and I've leveled up now the good thing about this as you can see I'm now level three and let's say I get my hands on this level five token uh, attempting to skip level four if I drop this level 5 token, it's not going to do anything. I'm not going to get my level 5 because I am not level 4. Become level 4, that will give me level 4. I've noticed a uh, mistake in my commands here. Uh, yep, there it is. So I'll run through the commands of how to do this uh, in just a second. However, I do want to show you that depending on what level you are uh, depends on what you can make like a shop with this as well um, based on what this all is so you can have like teleport set up so only certain levels can go to certain areas um, but as you can see if I just go to in here okay so you can see that the barbarian kit is level 2 and all the way down here we've got level 5 so I am actually level 5 right now so I'll be able to get this kit and this will all work and I will have access to this so obviously these level 5's but if I go ahead and I change my level to back to level 1 for example I just get rid of all of these so you can see now that I'm level 1 if I try and use this now it's not going to do anything it's not going to give me anything of these because I'm not level 3 and I'm not level 2 if I go to level 5 again or I'll go to level 3 this time so I'm level 3 now you can see that if I come over here I can't use that I can use this because I am level 3 now but you'll see if I go on to the barbarian kit as well as level 3 I will still be able to use this as level 3 if I just head back to spawn and show you the level up commands okay so basically these are all the same you just need to change a couple of settings in each one so this first command here first of all it executes a command at the level 2 ticket anywhere in the world and it tests for if the player within a range of 2 of that piece of paper that we've got and it checks if their score is level 1 okay so that makes sure his level is level 1 and then once that realizes it is it comes through into here and then it tests for the level 2 ticket if that's on the ground it will come over to this one and then it executes a command at that ticket again and it sets the player's score to level 2 okay so then at this point your player will be level 2 and then here it just tells everyone that 
whoever's the closest uh, ex sorry executes the command at the level 2 ticket and it says the player has leveled up and then over here it just kills that level 2 ticket and now this is basically unlimited you can have like a thousand levels or a hundred levels if you really wanted to you would just need you know a hundred of these um, so the level 3 works exactly the same all it does is it makes sure it executes a command at the level 3 ticket and it sees if the player is level 2 and this is what prevents people from being able to be level 1 and ranking up straight to level 3 so it makes sure the player is level 2 it looks for the level 3 ticket then it sets the player's uh, score to level 3 then you come over here it says they've leveled up at the level 3 ticket and then finally it kills the level 3 ticket and to set this up all you're going to have to do is obviously create a scoreboard objective uh, with whatever name you want so let's just say for example so it's scoreboard objectives add and then you need the string of the objective so let's just try one two three four five let's not do that we'll do ASDF it's going to be a dummy objective and then the display so you know I've set it up in here um, so the display for me obviously is level and you'll see if I just rank up this guy a little bit as you can see he's now level 2 and I'll say that on top of his name and I can just keep ranking him up if I really wanted to level 4, level 5 etc etc so yeah that's pretty much how this works all the commands will be down in the description below if you do need some help um, and just copy and paste it over and over again so if you wanted to create a shop so first of all you need to make sure that this is set up exactly like this otherwise um, if someone activates this command and is level 2 if someone comes along uh, this will quickly activate and activate the whole system however if you have this repeater set a free tick delay um, and torch and that will work just fine so you'll see that if I click this uh, this will actually block this for a couple of seconds which allows this to reset itself so in here it's testing so slash scoreboard players it's testing if the player at the player within a range of three is level two and if he is it will set off this command which is a pretty basic command so basically this just clears the player's inventory because we don't want everyone to have multiple kits at the same time and this simply just clones the top block uh, the block up here to here and this is where like your kit will be or whatever you want them to receive once they get this and this just simply destroys uh, the block over here and the reason why it's a destroy and not a set block is because if it's just setting the block it will just it will, won't drop any of these and then over here this just kills the entity which is a chest so if I just disable this real quick um, I just do that there we go so if I just disable that you'll see that now if I use this if I was actually level 2 we go I'll actually receive the chest as well but if it's not it will actually just remove the chest in general and that's pretty much how all of these work um, so obviously they don't have to be called levels they can be called ranks etc etc uh, but if you want to do like level 3 ones you just change this level here to 3 and that is it there's nothing else you have to do so the shops are really simple you just have this one command and whatever level you want them to be just change that so if this video helped you or if you're going to use it in your worlds or servers or whatever you're going to be creating make sure to um, tell me what you're going to use it for 
so yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. If you enjoyed it that much more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.